Hi friends, I'm Olga Kölsch and welcome back to my studio. Today we are going to paint multi-layered poster or postcard with tropical leaves. For the first layer I use Pyrrhol orange. Any orange will be great. So I start painting my first palm leaf. First layer I map out the stem and then I add a lot of leaves. How do I paint leaves? I set my brush about 30 degrees to the paper. I start with the tip of the brush then I apply a lot of pressure, maximum pressure, and make some curve, and then I just brought it outside of the canvas. I used just some random type from a building store, nothing fancy, to fix my paper. So once again, I start with the tip of the brush, Apply pressure on the brush, create some curved line, and then I release the pressure outside of the canvas. A little bit of pressure, more pressure, and then release the pressure somewhere outside of the canvas. The quicker you paint, the easy and more natural your leaves will be because then your hand moves very organically and you don't overthink it. So that's the first layer. The trick is to dry it out completely. I use a smaller brush and I'm just drag out some lines from these puddles. Usually I try to remove puddles, but now we can use them to create some leaf texture. Here a little bit. Let's have a look. If you don't have these puddles left, that's also fine. We will have many layers to practice. For the next layer I will use olive green and I want to place my next branch a little bit shifted. For example, hmm, yeah, for example like this stem and then in the same technique you can even start a little bit outside of the canvas to bring some leaves into the picture. Tip of the brush, pressure, release the pressure. It helps when you visualize the leaf shape, so your brush strokes will be within this shape. So, for example, this leaf will go about these sides. You just bravely paint on the top of the previous layer, For this technique, it's nice to use, for these brush strokes, it's nice to use a smaller, smaller paper size. Now let's add some veins. I will use smaller brush. And without big overthinking, I will add a little bit of fine brush strokes. in the middle of each leaf, maybe somewhere a little bit more. I like to use to make veins with dry brush. Just like this. And now let, let it all dry again. For the next layer, I turned upside down my can canvas, my paper. And I use some green color to create another branch. I don't want to place branch like this 
uh, because that will be in two parallels with the previous two branches. So I'm thinking of starting, yes, starting like this, like this direction, stem, and then start start a little bit outside out of the canvas or for a few first leaves. You can vary the direction of your hand that creates a nice move of the leaf. For the third layer I, I took maybe a little bit bolder color because I want this color be visible on the top of the previous ones. Just have a look. That looks funny and uh, I like this gentle overlapping. I want to add some details on the top layer. I think that will be my last layer. Three is enough, but you can try to do more. And for last details, I dry my brush with a paper towel, flatten it a little bit, grab some green color, tap tap on the on the paper towel, and add some dry texture on the green leaves. Without big overthinking, but that last layer with the texture, texture it adds some nice special idea. Now comes the fun part. Let's remove the top. any type test it on your paper because sometimes some paper and some types they don't work together nicely for example something like this can happen I didn't try that paper yet and, and now we have a pretty vacation postcard which you can maybe Update a little bit with small little details on the very top or just leave it like it is. It's all up to you how you will play it later. Thank you so much for painting with me. Please leave some feedback and comments what you would like to paint next. See you next time. Bye bye.